Hey internet, so a phrase I bring up quite a lot is existential crisis. The other day I tweeted Probably shouldn't have. And a lot of you guys were like, what? I didn't know if I wanted to make a video about this because it's kind of dense and yeah. But as I guess it's kind of important, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, okay? And then afterwards we can move on. Right. I've noticed whenever I mention or tweet about this, there's always some misunderstanding and people say Existential crisis, but Dan you have a great job. Your life is fine. What's the problem? Yeah, I have a job and it's great and my life is generally great and fantastic and I'm very happy. That is the typical quarter-life crisis that everybody experiences that you're thinking of. An existential crisis is when you begin to question the meaning of existence. Your mind sinks through a black hole to the centre of the universe and you start falling through a spiral of thoughts on such fun topics as the inevitability of death, the crushing loneliness of realising all humans inherently are and will die alone, the absurd meaninglessness of the universe and that as far as we know there is no reason for or purpose to human existence. <laughs> So yeah, okay, you're thinking about some deep things, but why is it a big deal? The reason existential crises are dangerous is when you fall into them, they are very hard to get out of, because when you're debating the purpose of reality itself, whatever you have to do in your actual life suddenly seems very unimportant. You can't just do your everyday life when you're busy questioning your entire existence. Example. Making some cereal. Why do I exist? Life is pointless. Day ruined. Why would you continue making cereal in an infinite universe where your life is pointless? It happens with everything, even videos for me. Right, time to make a video. Super fun. One day I and everyone I love is going to be dead. We're also alone in the universe. It's very inconvenient suddenly having your life shut down, thinking about these things that make nothing else seem important, but because there's no real answers or conclusions to these questions, there's no telling how long you're going to be trapped in this state. But this here right now is more to explain what it is to you, okay? So don't worry about me, because I'm fine. All of this death, loneliness, meaningless stuff, I, I accept it. I think it's great. <laughs> For me, it was the fear of freedom. This is the idea that when you realize you're in total control of your life and you have the power to do anything you want to do, as I spoke about in my The Meaning of Life video, which sounds great and liberating and inspiring, it's also terrifying, as it means at some point you have to decide what you are doing with your one terribly short human life. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What do you want to achieve by the time you've died? I don't know what the goal is to change the world, to just live a quiet, unassuming life where I'm simply content with my existence. I don't know. They say ignorance is bliss, and I do wonder if my life would be more enjoyably simple if I didn't think about these things every day, but at the same time, I get quite a satisfying feeling of enlightenment out of my own self-awareness, which feels quite content as well as depressing. So if you've ever found yourself having an existential crisis, or maybe this video has just made you aware of all these things and I've totally ruined your life, soz. Here's my advice. We can't run away from these things because until a time-traveling scientist from the future appears and explains to us why the universe exists, or Jesus descends from a cloud and goes, chill out guys, it's all very simple. We will never know the answers to these questions, so there's not really much point dwelling on it. I find there's a certain rock and roll awesomeness about how blunt the universe is and you just have to roll with that. You have to take this freedom and control over your own destiny that you've realized you've had and find it empowering and exciting and don't waste any time in a slump because something I know that I can't run away from is no one cares. The universe doesn't care. The world isn't going to stop or slow down or change just for you and your little problems. Time is ticking away so whatever it is you just have to deal with it and Go! You decide what you want to achieve, what you love, what you dream, and come up with your own meaning. Embrace the void and have the courage to exist. There we go. You asked for it. That was totally awful. Well, we got that out of the way, so I can go back to doing what I was doing, you can go back to doing what you were doing, and we can both move on from now. Cool. Yo, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of me waffling, then good news! You can just click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to be told when I upload a new video.
This video is the spiritual successor to two other videos I've made. The college dropout when my first sex essential crisis began and I quit university, and the meaning of life when this time last year I became aware of my own freedom and encouraged everybody to make the most of their lives. And now this waffly mess is the culmination of the fear that freedom gave me. Hopefully this is the last chapter and I've just hammered the nails in the coffin. I guess we'll see what my life is like this time next autumn. It's a pretty exciting reason to stay subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you're all doing good, and I will see you next week. Because until a time traveling, f until a time traveling f kinky, who the f thought a square mug was a good idea?